In 1999, Caterpillar built the last of 575,000 engines that truckers still call indestructible. Just 11 years later, they quit making truck engines entirely. What happened to America's diesel king? 1. The Electronic Revolution You think you know what made the 3406E special, but here's what most people miss. Every trucker faced a choice. Stick with old engines that broke constantly, or risk everything on new electronic diesels nobody trusted. What made it different? The 3406E wasn't just another engine. It was Caterpillar's breakthrough into electronic diesel technology. Think about that. While Detroit had been perfecting electronic controls since 1987, Cat was still building mechanical engines. But here's the genius part. Caterpillar didn't rush into electronics. They waited. They watched Detroit's early electronic problems. Then they built their system right the first time. That was the 3406E, 14.6 liters of displacement. That's bigger than most car engines times 10. 5.4 inch bore, 6.5 inch stroke. Those numbers mean low end torque that could pull a house off its foundation. Seven main bearings, not five like the competition. Seven, that spread the load so evenly that crankshafts lasted forever. But here's where it gets crazy. The electronic controls delivered exactly the right fuel at exactly the right time, every single time. Most people think being first with electronics was everything. The 3406E proved timing mattered more than being first. Electronic precision plus mechanical robustness created the sweet spot. Cat learned from Detroit's early mistakes and built it right. Simple comparison. Detroit's early electronic engines were like the first smartphones, groundbreaking but buggy. The 3406E was like the iPhone. Throughout the mid-1990s, the 3406E became extremely popular in premium trucks like Peterbilt and Freightliner. Not total domination, but serious market impact. Why did truckers choose CAT over proven Detroit electronics? The engine's real genius wasn't just engineering, it was timing. It arrived at the perfect moment in trucking history, and what happened next made smart operators very wealthy. 2. The Golden Years the sweet spot era. Six years when everything went right, when technology served truckers instead of fighting them. This is that story. This is about the last time independent truckers had a real advantage. 1993 to 1999. If you picked the right engine, you could outlast and outprofit every competitor on the road. Miss this window? You spent the next decade watching smarter operators buy bigger fleets while you struggled to pay for repairs. Major trucking companies were facing tough decisions. Electronic engines cost more upfront, but they promised better fuel economy and reliability. Some fleet managers took the safe route, stuck with what they knew. Others made calculated bets on new technology. The smart ones chose the 3406E. What made it golden? The 3406E hit the market at the perfect moment. Electronic precision without emissions, complexity. No DPF, no DEF, no EGR, no computer problems that stranded trucks. Just pure, reliable power that you could tune, fix, and understand. The economics. Industry reports from that era show consistent patterns. 3406E trucks, six plus miles per gallon. Competing engines, often below five miles per gallon. At 100,000 miles per year, that difference added up fast. At $1.20 per gallon in 1995, better fuel economy could save $4,000 to $6,000 per truck per year. The higher initial cost often paid for itself in the first year. Cultural impact. At truck stops across America, yellow paint became a badge of honor. Cat drivers had their own hierarchy. You could walk into any truck stop and spot the cat drivers. They'd gather around 3406 e-trucks, sharing stories of mountain passes conquered and impossible deadlines met. Think of owning a classic muscle car that won every race, except this muscle car made you money while it won. Technical advantage. Oil analysis programs let you see inside the engine without taking it apart. Wear metals. Fuel dilution. Coolant problems. You could predict a trouble months before it happened. That moved repairs from emergency to planning. Panic to profit. Market proof. Premium resale values proved the point. A five-year-old 
3406 e-truck consistently sold for thousands more than competing engines. The market knew quality when it saw it. Check this. Even as the 3406E gained ground on America's highways, storm clouds gathered in Washington. Rules were changing, and those changes would destroy everything truckers valued about their engines. 3. The Storm Clouds The Regulatory Storm The 3406E is gaining market share. Truckers are making money. Caterpillar is confident. Then the government changed the rules. This isn't about politics. This is about survival. When regulations change, engines that made fortunes become worthless overnight. Companies that dominated markets disappear. Get this wrong? 70 years of engineering excellence dies. Get it right? You adapt to survive. Caterpillar faced an impossible choice. Do you remember EPA engineers in 2000? Good people trying to clean the air. They had charts showing diesel emissions. They wanted them cut by 90%. Sounds reasonable, right? Cleaner air is good, but they never asked what that would cost truckers, or what it would do to engines like the 3406E, the demands. The Clean Air Act amendments of 1990 set a timer. By 2007, all diesel engines had to meet impossible standards. Nitrogen oxides emissions, cut by 95%. Particulate matter, cut by 90%. Fuel consumption, improve by 15%, all at the same time, in the same engine. And what happened next shocked everyone. The technology battle. Every manufacturer faced the same problem. How do you make a clean engine that still works? Cummins chose SCR technology, selective catalytic reduction, inject DEF fluid to clean exhaust. Detroit Diesel chose EGR technology, exhaust gas recirculation plus DPF filters recirculate exhaust back into the engine for cleaner burning. Caterpillar, they gambled on something different. ACERT technology, the ACERT gamble. ACERT stood for Advanced Combustion Emissions Reduction Technology. Multiple injection events. Precise timing, clean combustion inside the cylinder instead of cleaning exhaust afterward. On paper, brilliant. In reality, here's where Caterpillar's world started falling apart. Remember 2006? Truckers went crazy buying pre-emissions trucks. Dealer lots emptied. Used truck prices soared. Everyone wanted the last clean engines before regulations hit. That rush proved something important. Truckers didn't trust the new technology. They were right. The cost. The environmental lobby claimed modern engines are 90% cleaner. That's true, but they never mentioned the cost. Cleaner came at the price of everything truckers valued. Reliability. Repairability, independence, DPF systems need regeneration cycles. The exhaust system burns soot at 1100 degrees. EGR systems recirculate exhaust back into the engine. That's like breathing your own exhaled air. DEF systems inject urea into the exhaust. Run out of DEF, your truck shuts down. Each system added complexity. Each system added failure points. Imagine taking a perfect watch and adding 50 more gears. Sure, it might keep better time, but it's 50 times more likely to break. Economic pressure. Warranty costs exploded. Caterpillar spent more fixing ACERT engines than they made selling them. The on-highway market became a race to the bottom. Lowest bid wins. Quality doesn't matter if you can't make money. Construction and marine markets, still profitable. No emissions requirements, off-road the impossible choice. Wait, picture this moment. Caterpillar boardroom. Engineers know ACERT isn't working. Warranty claims crush profits. They have two choices. Copy the competition, build SCR engines like everyone else, exit the market entirely. What would you choose? By 2007, Caterpillar faced the hardest decision in company history. Compromise their engineering principles or walk away from billions in revenue. What they chose shocked the trucking world. Four, the fall, the death of a legend. The last Caterpillar truck engine rolls off the production line. After 70 years of powering America's highways, the yellow iron era ends, but why? This wasn't just a business decision. This was the end of an American industrial dynasty. When Caterpillar exits trucking, 
Thousands of dealers lose their franchise. Millions of owner operators lose their preferred engine. An entire culture dies. The decision would reshape the industry forever. Acert's failure. Acert was supposed to be Caterpillar's ace in the hole. Clean combustion without SCR complexity. Instead, it became a nightmare. Multiple injection events confused the combustion process. Engines ran rough. Fuel economy suffered. Reliability died. The much bad news. C15 models earned their nickname. MBN equals much bad news. Try explaining that to an owner operator who just spent $150,000 on a truck. Here's the brutal math. Average ACERT warranty claim, $8,500. Average SCR warranty claim, $2,100. Caterpillar lost money on every engine they built. SCR technology worked. Cummins in Detroit proved it. But Caterpillar's pride wouldn't let them copy the competition. Market collapse. Numbers don't lie. 2005, Caterpillar held 28% of heavy-duty truck engine market. 2009, down to 12%. 2010, zero. Caterpillar didn't fail at emissions. They refused to build unreliable engines just to meet regulations. While competitors sold customers problems, Caterpillar chose to walk away rather than compromise. That's either principled engineering or stubborn pride. Depends on your perspective. ACERT's multiple injection events required precise timing, microsecond precision. When sensors failed, timing went wrong. Engines knocked, pistons cracked, warranty claims soared. SCR was simpler. Burn clean, then clean the exhaust. Two separate problems instead of one impossible problem. The human cost. This wasn't just about engineering. Thousands of Caterpillar employees lost jobs. Hundreds of dealers lost franchises. Entire communities built around cat manufacturing were devastated. Imagine the Yankees quitting baseball because they couldn't win with new rules. That's what Caterpillar did. They were used to dominating through superior engineering. When regulations made engineering irrelevant, they walked away. Industry impact. Market share didn't disappear. It shifted. Cummins and Detroit Diesel split Cat's customers. Pocker gained ground with their MX engines. Competition decreased. Prices increased. Innovation slowed. Truckers lost their favorite engine and gained nothing in return. The business decision. Caterpillar made a calculated bet. Exit trucking, focus on construction and mining. Off-highway markets were growing. No emissions requirements. Higher profit margins. Smart business decision? Absolutely. End of an era? Definitely. But the story doesn't end there. But the story doesn't end with Caterpillar's exit. 15 years later, the 3406 E's legend grows stronger. And what's happening now will make you question everything about progress. Five, the legacy, why legends never die. Caterpillar hasn't built a truck engine in 15 years. So why are 3406 E engines more valuable than ever? The answer will surprise you. This isn't nostalgia. This is proof. While modern engines break down with computer problems, 25-year-old 3406E engines keep running. That's not sentiment. That's superior engineering. Understanding why matters if you want to know what we've lost and what we might find again. Simple truth. They were built to be rebuilt forever. Wet cylinder liners, replaceable from the top. Forged steel crankshaft, can be turned multiple times. Seven main bearings. Distribute loads evenly. Modern engines? Designed to be replaced, not rebuilt. Try rebuilding a 2015 Cummins ISX. Good luck finding someone who knows how. Current applications. Marine applications love 3406 E engine. Salt air kills electronic systems. Mechanical fuel injection doesn't care about moisture. Power generation companies install 3406 E generators in hospitals. When the power goes out, you need engines that start every time. Construction companies rebuild 3406E engines for off-road equipment. No emissions requirements. No computer problems. The paradox. Modern trucks get better fuel economy. 8 to 9 miles per gallon versus 6 to 7 for old school. But many 3406E owners report lower total cost of ownership over 10 years. Repair costs eat up that fuel savings. Sometimes, progress moves backward. The 3406E ECM is open source. 
Enthusiasts share tuning files online. Free. Want 600 horsepower? Download a file. Want better fuel economy? Different file. Try that with a modern engine. You'll void the warranty and probably brick the computer. Why they last? 1.5 to 2 million miles. Between major rebuilds. That's not marketing. That's real world data. The secret? Conservative engineering. Everything overbuilt. Nothing stressed to its limit. Modern engines optimize everything for maximum efficiency. No safety margin. The comparison. Think of a 3406E like a 1950s Maytag washing machine, built to last forever. Modern engines are like smartphones. Amazing technology, but plan on replacing them every few years. Global perspective. Countries without strict emissions still use 3406E engines. Australia, parts of Africa, South America. Marine vessels worldwide prefer mechanical injection over electronic systems. The rest of the world kept what America threw away. The 3406E represents more than just an engine. It represents an era when operators understood their machines and could fix them with wrenches instead of laptops. Whether that era was better or worse depends on what you value most, simplicity or efficiency, independence or environmental compliance. But one thing is certain, we'll never see another engine quite like the CAT 3406E. Drop a comment if you've driven a 3406E. Share your experience. Which was better, 3406E or modern engines? Tell us why.